The sacred bond of sisterhood runs deep in the Garvey family. The dark comedy Bad Sisters follows five women, including Eva, played by Sharon Horgan, who would do anything to protect her family from her nasty brother-in-law. Take a look. There's all kinds of ways people can die by accident, all kinds of unfortunate mishaps. I was thinking something at work, an industrial accident. We're working an open plan architectural firm. What are we going to do? April cut them to death. We've got crime. The roof terrace, the fire escape. Yeah, we're not doing anything like that. We're doing it again, we're doing it with poison this time. Like normal women. And Sharon is with us now. Welcome. <laughs> like normal women. Like normal That's women. normal women kill. That's, yes, yes. Listen, I dove into this show. I, I wished I'd started it a week ago, so I finished it and could talk, like, tell you the whole thing. But I will finish it in yeah. like two days because it's so good. But, uh, you know, this, it's, what I love about this, it's a mix of funny and clearly not some funny yeah. elements. So yeah. set this whole story up for us. Well, it's, a, it's about um, five sisters, the Garvey sisters, who are really tight. They lost their parents when they were young. And one of them is married to, to a monster yeah. who they're planning to kill yeah. there. And uh, well, they, yeah, they just decide they're, they're, they're going to kill him. But they're just normal women, so they're really bad at murder. <laughs> So it takes, a, it takes a lot of, they sort of try and, and fail a lot. But it is about, um, you know, it's, it's a comedy because that premise in itself is kind yeah. of ridiculous. But there is a, a very a, a abusive, um, coercive relationship at the heart of it. Yeah. And so that was the, the, the balancing act that we had to perform, you know, because you didn't want to seem like for a second that you're making light of that. So. Right. So yeah, it was just a constant tightrope to, to tread throughout. Yeah. Well, and you're the creator of the series, of this version of the series. You've adapted it. Um, and so it was in a Belgian yeah. movie or no, series? No, it, it was a 10-part Belgian series called Clan. So when did you see this and then say, I need to tell this story myself? Well, um, I didn't. It was sort of brought to me. Um, uh, my boss at, at Apple <laughs> said, I, "I think you should watch this show." And I'd never written a thriller before, or even even done hour long or drama. I'm like a you know a sitcom kind of kind of girl. And uh, <laughs> but I watched one episode, and I, and I was I was in I, yeah. mainly because of the sisters' relationship. I it's love a it. really fun dynamic to yeah. put on screen, but. Um, the, the Belgian series was was not so. I mean, if you think this is, you know, it was not so. There was, you know, um, hitmen and people ended up in dog food, and there was Chinese mafia. It was like wild. <laughs> so I, I was just really interested in in you know grounding it and. Um, you know, just having characters that are incredibly relatable so that you can get on board and, you know, go on this mad journey with them. But you have to really um, care about their sister. I was going to say, it's the sisters that you care yeah. about. It's this relationship that you're watching because the chemistry between uh, all of yeah. you is so good. Oh, I mean, it's lovely, isn't it's it? It's so nice. Did you work on that or did you guys step on set and you're like, yeah, we're doing this. We're, we're sisters through and through. I just chose women that I thought I'd like to hang out with for yeah. 10 months because it's you a, chose a well. long shoot. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> but also, we, we, we had a rehearsal period, which you don't always get now. Everything's like sort of done in a rush. But our our director, Dervla Walsh, she's just a great Irish woman and she just got us all together and we went swimming together and we hung out and we ate and we, you know, just kind of became a family. Yeah. And, and then you spend 10 months together, you kind of are a family by the yeah. end of it, you know. It's so nice that you got to spend that time ahead of time. But we got to talk about Shining Veil, vale too, because you're oh, the yeah. creator of that show, too. Well, you got so much fun. Well, with uh, Jeff Astroff, who's the guy who's doing all the legwork at the moment while I'm <laughs> touting. So, <laughs> still, co-creator of the show. And Courtney Cox said that this is the best character she's ever played, which Aww. is saying a lot. Because it is Friends really. was kind of a big show. Wait, what show? Friends. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it was, I, I watched that show on a loop and 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 I was obsessed with Courtney I've only just kind of calmed down about it now um, <laughs> they're shooting the the second season at the moment she's uh, I'm, I'm really delighted that she says that about it but yeah. she absolutely knocks it out of the park that that character she connected with her so much so yeah I think that's why she says it's her favorite well, character you've got so much going on we didn't even get to all of it so I hope oh you can God. come back and, and we can chat yeah. about the rest of the stuff you've got going on and hopefully by that time I've already finished this season. <laughs> we talk about John Paul and how we died all right well you can catch the season one finale of Bad Sisters this Friday October 14th on Apple TV plus